Hi, this is Dave, Fair Running Guide. Welcome to another navigation task. And this one is a simple task. Um, what we're being asked is, what are these black symbols here? The ones that the red arrows are pointing to. So what are those symbols? What do they represent? And that's using the Ordnance Survey Explorer 1 to 25,000 map. And if we have a look at the legend and look for those symbols, what we call hashers, the, the little um, black sort of triangles, arrows, we can see we've got some here. And that tells us that that's a symbol for a railway cutting or an embankment. But those um, extracts that I showed you, they're out in the middle of nowhere in the in the countryside. They're nothing to do with uh, a railway, so they're certainly not um, cuttings or embankments. If we have a look over here, we've got another very, very similar symbol that says slopes. Now, that is a, a little bit vague because if you think about it, the whole of the landscape, certainly in an area like the Peak District, it's covered in slopes. So why would they choose to show some slopes and not others? So what, what can they possibly be? Now, some people suggested that they might be rocks or cliff faces or scree. But the Ordnance Survey map has its own symbols for those, so that's not the case. Uh, and other people suggested it's uh, an area of steep ground that can't be shown by the contour lines. But if we have a look on here, we can see that in places here, the contours aren't particularly close together. They're no closer here than they are maybe here. And yet they're only shown here and they're not here. Also, if we have a look at the Peak District map a little bit wider, we can see other areas of steep ground. So we've got these steep streams here dropping in, steep streams here, steep and sort of very steep ground there, and there are no Hashua symbols on these. So why would the Ordnance Survey just choose to put them in this area here and not further down? And why would they miss out this little bit here and then continue again for a good distance and then stop and then go again? And if we just look a little bit further, you can see that there's some more here. And again, the contour lines in this particular area here aren't that close together. So it's a little bit intriguing as to why they show them in some areas and not others. So what are they? So they're certainly not a man-made feature. There's no reason for humans to come out into this remote area and embank or um, fortify random areas of, of bits of stream here. And it's nothing to do with quarrying or mining. Well, if you have a look at this screenshot here, um, imagine that you are stood under this blue circle looking northeastwards along the red arrow looking along these um, Hasher lines. This is the view that you would actually see. So looking northeastwards along this stream, we can see this very tall, loose area of eroded ground there. If we look from a slightly wider angle, you get a, another look at it. So actually, those black lines indicate this eroded or almost like landslip area where the, maybe the, the stream has eroded the bank away and the vegetation's failed to leave an exposed shaley or um, just underlying rock or um, you know soil. So why is that important for us? as maybe fell runners or hill walkers, why do we need to know that? What use is it to us? Well, imagine if we are route planning, then we might want to avoid areas like that, because can you imagine trying to ascend or descend from the bank at the top down here? If we had vegetation and the vegetation went all the way down, then it'd be a lot easier to go down or up the vegetated bank because you'd have something to hold on to and it give more purchase whereas trying to go up or down this could be maybe quite dangerous if you're trying to come down it so that would help um, and if we were planning a route and we looked at the map and we could see 
this so imagine that we're coming um, maybe from this area over here and we wanting to be heading northwestwards up running moss dyke then we might plan a route that takes us up just to the north and over this eroded ground and across that way rather than risking um, a steep loose unstable eroded slope to go down so that's what those symbols represent land like that that's been eroded away it's certainly not man-made it's natural natural erosion um, it's just a little anomaly really with the the legend or the key most times Auden survey will show a, a definitive feature and you can look at it and know exactly what it is whereas this one's a little bit vague so that's your answer hope you learned something hope you enjoyed it um, thanks for watching and look out for more of these navigational tasks bye for now